Hey guys, what's good? What's poppin' the sugar shy? I'm back with another video, guys. So, as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm gonna be doing a product review for something I just ordered from Amazon and they actually just got here. So, I'm gonna go get my package before somebody steal my stuff because these fools out here stealing stuff. So, let's go get the package. <sighs> So today, guys, I have a big, 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 big announcement. Well, not an announcement, but something big to share with you guys today. So I just received this package from Amazon. I bought this from Amazon, and I was so excited. I've been contemplating buying this. I've been looking everywhere. I've been asking people what's a good place to buy this and everything. Everybody recommended me Amazon and I think said Walmart. I went to Walmart, but... The ones that they had, like some of them were out of the boxes. They didn't have a lot of selections. And then another one was like almost $300. I'm not trying to spend almost $300 for this product right now. So I'm going to show you all what I got. So guys, this is what I got right here. I got my very first uh, sewing machine. And guys, from the look of this box, it looks kind of like it's been opened before or something. It looked like it's been open because look at this. It's missing this and this looked like it was a shipping label here. Mm, they put my shipping label on the front of it. But it also looked like it's some things missing. It looked like it's some things missing. Like you see this little chunk right here missing? Like what the heck? Uh -huh. But I'm going to be doing a unboxing for you guys. So this is my very first sewing machine. If you guys do or do not know, I own a hair extension company. I have been getting a lot of people asking me if I sell wigs, if I make wigs. And I just been telling them no, that I don't make wigs, I don't sell wigs. But the truth is I make wigs, but I haven't made any for anybody else, if that makes sense. So, I've been wanting to find a new and easier way to make wigs because hand stitching wigs takes a long time. Okay, so I have the Singer. So I've been hearing a lot of people, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of people use the Singer brand. I think the Brothers brand, the Singer and Brothers brand. But I decided to go with the Singer's brand and this is in M. M5100, so Singers M5100. And I paid $100 for this on Amazon. I don't remember if it said used or whatever. Let me see. Because I don't know so I'm sure that's being used. I mean, it's a good price and everything. It doesn't say that it was used or anything on there when I bought it. So we're just going to see if it, if it has everything inside the box and if it's working correctly and everything. So this says compact and capable. So it's uh, six stitches. Yeah, I don't know anything about sewing machines. I really don't. Um, so I'm still in the learning phase of learning how to use and understand the sewing machine. So yeah, the I'm guessing the six stitches is like the different um, styles of stitching that it does. So I know a lot of people um, when they sew wigs. Um, if y'all can see when people sew wigs they mainly use I want to say these two or these two when they sew wigs so that's about the only ones that I need to know of I'm not sewing no clothes I'm sewing wigs honey um so yeah it's six stitches four step buttonhole what is a buttonhole Whip. that's all right we're gonna, we're gonna get together crafted with care so it's a metal frame free arm so is this the one where you got to use a foot pedal because i want to use a foot pedal <laughs> okay so six stitches four step buttonhole buttonholes are easy as one two three four preset preset stitch length and width eliminate guesswork with simple stitch selection so full craft i mean crafted with care it says full metal frame maximum durability free arm uh sew hems and cuffs with ease 
quick and easy threading easy to follow threading guides so yeah we're gonna get right into this so let's go ahead and open this box up so i'm standing up I guess I can move the camera back too. Okay, I hope y'all can see. I kind of moved the camera around a little bit. So right now I'm just finna oh it says what's inside the box. So inside the box, this looked like um, you know the little dang it, what is it called? That's all right, we're gonna we're gonna get the directions of it. Because um the way the picture is on top, I mean the way it's packaged and stuff is like missing some of the thing. It's missing some of the pictures. Okay. All right. Just as long as they got everything that I need to use for this. See, I don't even know these two, but it's supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten items inside the box, and it better be ten. All right. So first thing first, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It gives you like these little papers inside here. So I'm guessing this is um the about the machine. This is the directions of how to set it up and everything. And this is safety instructions booklet. And so take all this foam out let me just pull it up so all right boom that's the machine and they got like a little pack of everything in there so let me just sit this to the side whoops all right so Right here is the instructions and everything on how to set it up, how to get everything together. So this is on this side instructions and on this side instructions. And so I will set this up later. Um, I'm just basically showing y'all the machine. So it's supposed to be 10 things in this thing right here. 10 items. I'm finna count them because the way the thing, the box looks, it looks like somebody had just repackaged it up or whatever. So this is one. I'm messing these together. Two, three, wait. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. What is that? Is that what I'm missing? Hmm. I got this piece. I got that piece that looks like. Wait. Because I am confused, honey. This look like this piece here. So where's this piece at? Did I miss something? Hmm. I think I'm missing a piece, y'all. And I think it's like an important, crucial piece to the machine. It's where you put the little, where you drop the needle at. So let me just look on the machine. Maybe it's on the machine. Or something. I don't see. So you take all of that off. Take the plastic off. It looks so pretty. I look like I'm going to do something. Oh, okay, never mind. I see it. It's like this little footer piece that you put the thread, like you thread the whatever. I don't know. Thread something on there. Okay, what is this? Oh, is this the foot pedal? This is the foot pedal. So basically, you put this on the ground, and that's how you sew everything up. Use the foot pedal. So, guys, this machine looks really, really pretty. Like, it looks new, so it doesn't look used or anything like that and i'm so glad and it comes with some thread already on here this is white thread it comes with thread already 
Um, I just got it. Oh, and it comes with like a little handle piece so you can carry it around with you. What I'm going to probably do is I'm going to buy one of those sewing machine bags. So that way I can, you know, oh, this to go in reverse. Oh, I see the machine moving too. Okay, how do you take this off? I'm going to take this off. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the thread backwards. And then I know you got to lift something. How you lift this thing up? I know something to lift it up. Let me, I know you supposed to do something to, oh, this part. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I'm getting somewhere. I'm, I've been seeing some things on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, YouTube and stuff. So I'm just put it back down for right now. Boom, period. So to lift this, to lift this up, I gotta learn the names of this. I know it, I'm, I wanna say it's a footer or something. So to lift that up, it's like this little lever piece on the side. You push it up and then you take the hair from underneath it and you cut the thread off of there and then you just put it back down to lay it back on the hair or whatever. So yeah, I'm so excited to start doing wigs. I know this little piece here, this can come out. I'm just trying to figure out how to take it out without breaking it. But I know it can come out. Okay, so you gotta you gotta pull it forward, like pull it and then take it out. I'm not just trying to take it out like that. And so this little thing here is like a storage compartment. So basically, you would put all your thread and needles or whatever else you could put it all in here. Close this up. Yeah, close that up and then just slide it back. Slide it back on there and then boom, there you go. You stored all your stuff away for your sewing machine. So this is my machine, guys. Like I'm so excited to start on this. Like, y'all, I'm gonna have some leaks coming. I got some some things that I've never done. I wanna try some new, I wanna experiment with some stuff. And I think these you put it here, right? Uh -huh. So these, you get this all threaded up and you put it on top of there, I'm guessing. Oh wait, no, you put the bobbin. Oh, that's what's called bobbin. That's what it's called, bobbin. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So yeah, that's that's everything, guys. That's everything I got. What is this? This looks like some type of a cleaning brush or something. And this, I don't know, none of this stuff is, but I will be definitely putting this together um i'm guessing this is extra needles yeah this is extra needles in this bag here so the needle that goes here put it put those in there so yeah i don't know what these little cushion things for but we're gonna figure that out too we're gonna figure that out so yeah this is basically like an unboxing video of my sewing machine i'm so excited to start this new journey because one of my goals like i've been saying is to learn how to make custom wigs on a sewing machine that is one of my goals because trying to sit here and hand stitch a wig it takes too long to do that like it takes me too long and then you know i'll be having back pain and everything and i'll be stopping so it'd be taking me about six hours to make a wig when you can do it on a sewing machine and it take I, I know some people would take like 30 to 45 minutes or whatever to make a wig on a sewing machine. So I'm trying to step up to that level. I'm trying to get to that level, guys. So yeah, guys, this is my Singer's M1500 sewing machine. It looks new. It's really, really pretty. I will put the link in the description box um, for where I bought this. And I will give you guys the exact same link. So if you all like this unboxing video, let me know in the comment section below. If y'all are ready for me to start making these sewing machine wigs, let me know in the comment section below because I just bought some stuff. Y'all seen it? I just bought some new stuff, and I'm about to I'm about to start. I'm gonna start doing these wigs. Um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Make sure I like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you be notified each time I post a video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.